We are now looking at the teaching video. Uh, this is the start of your differentiation. Uh, we look at uh, monomial. Hopefully, in the future videos, we'll build it up to polynomial and other functions as well. Monomial, we are referring to just single term. So let's look at a single term like that, x to the power of n. Uh, let's get some terminologies uh, into it. So x is what we call the base. And n here is the index. So in this arrangement, x to the power of n, x is the base, n is the index. We'll be referring to such arrangement of expression as base index. The symbols, if we start with y equals fx, y is a function of x. We use the symbol dy over dx. So y because the subject is y. We have the x over here because the whole expression of y is in terms of x. So supposing the subject is w, then it will be dw. If it is y here, but it is in terms of z, then it's dz here. So this symbol tells you the subject matters, the subject is y. And it also tells you something about the subject is in terms of x. So the symbol itself will tell us what we're dealing with. And when we are differentiating, we should also write the right symbol. It's a way to communicate. Now we read dy over dx simply as differentiate y with respect to x. And most of the time, uh, we just shorten this to w, r, t, x. So sometimes you see in some writing, this is there. You take it as with respect to x. Now we look at differentiation of monomials. In this arrangement, you have a times x to the power of negative 1. So this is your first foray into differentiation. The index is negative 1. The coefficient of x to the power of negative 1 is a. So when you differentiate, what you need to do is to take the index negative 1, multiply to the coefficient a. So you get negative a. Then write the base x, but every time you differentiate, your index will reduce by 1. So in this case, it will be negative 1. You reduce by 1, it means minus 1. So your result will be negative a, x to the power of negative 2. But we want to present the index as a positive index. Then you have to recall rules like this in the rule of indices. You take the reciprocal of a and you change the negative to positive. So 1 over a to the power of n. In this case, your x to the power of negative 2, you place it in the denominator place just below a, x to the power of 2. So that will be d. 
the complete form of differentiation. So just a quick one. The index minus 1 multiplied to the coefficient a, you get negative a. The index, take one off, minus 1. And the rest is just rearrangement into suitable form. Next, you have this case, A. A is a constant, but we can think of it as A times x to the power of 0, because x to the power of 0 simply is just 1. And this A here that you have is just A times 1. So we run through it this way, the index multiplied to the coefficient, you get a 0. And the index reduced by 1, you get 0 times x to the power of negative 1. So that doesn't really matter because 0 multiplied to any expression will be just 0. So the idea, basic, index multiplied to the coefficient and the index reduced by 1. In the next case, you have a times x to differentiate. x is really x to the power 1. So if you take 1, multiply to a, you get a. And then this index 1 reduced by 1, you get 1 minus 1 goes to 0. And you see, x to the power of 0 is 1. So you get just a. So what, what we want to simplify here for you to go through differentiation quicker is whenever you have x terms to differentiate, you simply just write down the coefficient of it. That will be fastest. So you will actually avoid going through it in detail like that. But this is basic for your understanding. In the next case, you have uh, x squared. You want to differentiate x squared. The index is 2. The coefficient of x squared is 1. So you take 2 multiplied to 1, you get 2. Then reduce the index by 1. So simplify this, you get 2x to the power of 1. And we don't have to write 1 there. It can be invisible. So Let's try to refer to the previous cases in your mind. The index multiplied to the coefficient and the index reduced by 1. So now we try to create a general form. So differentiate ax to the power of n. The index in this case n, the coefficient a, so we take the product of these two, a, n. Then the index will reduce by 1, x to the power of n minus 1. So this is something you can keep at the back of your mind as you go through more complicated subject. That's all.